Well, everyone, I was scrolling on Reddit the other day and I actually saw somebody mention, you know, that Apple hasn't really made a rose gold color in a long period of time. They just kind of stopped making this color. And in my opinion, I think the rose gold color is probably one of the most beautiful iPhones, just the iPhone colors that Apple has ever made. And it's weird that Apple just randomly stopped making it. Now, they still sell gold iPhones, which is really cool. Well, they sold the gold iPhone 12 Pro that I had. I love that design a lot. They sold a gold iPhone 11 Pro that I I owned, but they didn't really sell a gold iPhone 10. They didn't sell a gold, you know, iPhone 7 Plus, but they sold rose gold versions of those devices. And it's weird, the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus, I believe, were the last phones to have that rose gold option. There were different mods and everything, and you could always buy a gold iPhone 10s, which was really cool. But that rose gold color, there were two iPhones that I loved. And it's weird because the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus were the last versions to have this color. And those two colors are the rose gold options and the jet black model. Now, with the rose gold, I mean, it's a beautiful color, but it's a weird Apple stopped making it. Maybe it didn't sell too well or something, but that like, you know, pinkish, goldish color that this, you know, phone had is amazing looking. And I always think, you know, having an iPhone nowadays that looks like this would look really cool. And I think that would be a really cool color. But I think even more so than this, that jet black model of that iPhone 7 or 7 plus was probably one of the best looking phones i've ever seen apple make now personally i did own a 7 plus that was jet black and like i said one of the best looking colors apple has ever made it was a kind of like brushed metallic you know feeling it wasn't a glass back but it felt extremely close to a glass back and to be honest I would be totally okay if Apple went away from that glass back, you know, on the back, probably not the frosted glass, but the standard glass on the back of their devices. And if they switched over to this jet black model, I think I would be totally okay with it. Feeling that phone in the hand, it felt really, really glossy, which I liked. It looked beautiful on camera. And I do think, you know, using it day to day, I was less scared of dropping that phone because it wouldn't necessarily crack like glass. It would probably just chip away and everything like that. But it was a very good color. And in my opinion, probably one of the best colors, you know, Apple has ever made for any of their iPhones. But that also kind of stems down to the rose gold color. This was a really good color that I also liked. It was completely different than a lot of other phones in that market, at least coloring wise. And I would definitely still say at this point, if Apple were to bring back the rose gold color, I think a lot of people would like it. Like I said, I think the iPhone 8 Plus had that gold color that was still kind of like rose gold. And then we had that actual gold color with the iPhone XS, 11 Pro, and 12 Pro. But I do find it weird that Apple since then hasn't really made another rose gold color, you know, fully. So I think those two iPhones are probably the most beautiful colors Apple's ever made. And it's weird they pretty much never made them ever again since then. So I'd love to hear your opinion on this. Let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would be so much. But definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.